Hey guys, my name is Michelle and welcome to The Weight of Things. If you are new here, please take this time to click that subscribe button below as well as that bell so that you can get notified of every time that I create a new video. In this video, what I'm going to be talking about is the circumstance that is surrounding Micah and James Stoffer, and more importantly, their son, Huxley. And why I think that this whole situation might have actually turned out for the best. Now, if you've never heard of Micah Stoffer and her husband, James, basically they are YouTubers who both have separate YouTube channels. The main channel is a Micah's channel where she talks about her life um, being a mom at that time of four. I think she was pregnant with um, her recent child. And they go through their whole adoption process of adopting a little boy named Huxley from China. Basically, Micah and James had adopted Huxley from China and they were aware that he had some medical um, issues. However, according to them, they were not aware of how severe it was and upon bringing him home, I think they had him in their household for three years and after three years they just said that it became unbearable and according to them, after speaking with many specialists, they had decided that he needed a better home, like he needed a better fit for his home and this is why they decided to um, rehome him and um, basically send him to live with another family. Now I have never watched their channel before. I had never even heard of them until this circumstance happened and when it did happen I just kind of felt like well I wasn't really too interested into it because again I've never watched their channel and so it was kind of like mm, that's kind of an unfortunate situation but moving on. However as I started to keep hearing about it from other YouTubers and like seeing videos keep popping up on my suggested videos, I decided to actually watch one of them and it really had me thinking. This channel is called The Weight of Things and I talk a lot on this channel about weight loss but I also talk about how our emotional and psychological health plays a huge part in our physical health. Hearing about this, being somebody who has kind of went through the feelings of rejection as well as had other emotional things in my past, I kind of thought about how all of this might affect the entire family and thought that, you know, that this might actually be something that I would be interested in talking about on this channel because I feel like I do have such a different perspective than a lot of the other perspectives that I have heard when I was doing research on this video. So before I go into why I think that this situation might have turned out for the best, I will actually first want to talk about Huxley and how I think that this is going to affect him as well as the other children. So the first thing that I did want to say is, as I mentioned, I myself have went through feelings of rejection. I think that's something that probably a lot of us can relate to and think back to times where we had definitely felt rejected, whether it be from a family member, whether it be from a spouse, whether it be from a friend. Now feelings of rejection is a huge thing. I think that a lot of emotional um, health problems actually stem from the feeling of rejection. The way the body reacts to rejection is the same way that it reacts to an actual physical injury. So when somebody feels rejected, it is a huge thing. It really goes down to the very core of their well-being. As I mentioned, a lot of people go through feelings of rejection and some of that is not actually real as in happening rejection. Sometimes that rejection is just inside of us where we just feel rejected even if the person hasn't abandoned us and literally hasn't rejected us. So to hear about this situation with Huxley, it literally broke my heart because this is not just a feeling of rejection, this is an actual real rejection. I think that a lot of um, children that are adopted, oftentimes when they do know that they were adopted, as they grow older, they start to question and want to know about their real parents and their, their real family. And sometimes it can develop that feeling of rejection as to wondering why their family wouldn't have wanted them. And that says nothing about the home in which they were brought up in. A lot of times they can be brought up in the most loving home with the most loving parents. But at the end of the day, to know that you came from somewhere else, sometimes you may just wonder, you know, if your mom, if you have your mom's eyes or if you have your dad's nose and you just kind of want to find, you know, your real parents and kind of figure out like who you actually kind of are, like where you really came from. 
And so I feel like sometimes when that does happen, again, that question starts to come about as to why they didn't keep you, especially if you were to find out that, you know, they may have had other kids either before or after you, that question of, well, why didn't they keep me can kind of be very haunting to you and make you feel that kind of sense of rejection. But obviously growing up in a very loving and nurturing home, that can kind of ease that pain and also like fill that void of feeling like, you know, rejected or feeling like you're just this misplaced person. So to think about Huxley, who literally was quote unquote like rejected by his parents, for whatever the reason may be, maybe they had to do it, but just thinking about it from his perspective of feeling like, you know, well, my parents didn't want me, um, you know, and then to be brought to America to live with this family and, you know, maybe he's finally starting to get happy and he has these siblings and he has these parents and, you know, he's being recorded all the time and he's doing all of these great things. And then just to have them reject him um, because of his medical issues, you know, that can, that, I think that definitely would do quite a bit of damage to his psyche and his emotional well-being of again like not only feeling rejected the first time but then feeling rejected a second time again and having to wonder kind of what was wrong with him hopefully now he's going to be in a loving home where that person can kind of shower him with love and affection to kind of fill that void and let him know that he is loved and that he is wanted and that he is not a reject and that there is nothing actually wrong with him. I think it might be hard I, as he gets older if he does know and remember this, which most likely he will because I'm assuming that if they got him when he was two and they've had him for three years or four years, I'm not entirely sure, he is at least five years old. And I know I still literally remember things from when I was five. So he may definitely definitely remember his old family, his old American family, and wonder why he was no longer um, living with them. So like for me, I feel like that's hard. I feel like um, he would definitely probably need a lot of counseling and a lot of help to kind of work through those feelings and to make sure that he is not going to feel like a rejected person in life and carry that out throughout the rest of his life. And so I feel like this is such a horrible thing that could happen because, you know, I have a friend that has a son that's autistic and that is her biological son and although she tells me that it's rough she loves that child to the moon and back and I don't think she would ever 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 and for one moment think about wanting to get rid of her child um, that is her biological child but at the end of the day when you take on a child into your home that child is supposed to become like your child that is supposed to be your child so just as you wouldn't um, get rid of your biological child because of their medical issues it's kind of unfathomable that you would get rid of um, your adopted child so I feel like that's hard on Huxley but I also feel like that might be really hard on the siblings as well number one because again they had him in the home and then to have him now not be in the home but also number two because there are so many attacks on their parents and everything as we know on the internet is there forever so as they start getting older in age um, maybe they're even hearing some talks about it right now they're probably seeing their mom breaking down and crying after all the threats and everything that she's going through and at the end of the day these children are still innocent children as well they are not the ones that made the decision and so to think about how that might be affecting them emotionally as well is kind of heartbreaking to me so now that I've basically said my um, views on Huxley and the children, I will get into my views about um, Micah and James. The first thing that I would say about Micah and James is that all the critiques that I've heard, there are some that talk about James, but I feel like a lot of the anger is more um, focused towards Micah. And I understand that it is her channel, but at the end of the day, this is her husband. And they jointly decided to have him and I'm sure that they jointly made this decision and so I kind of feel like to put all of the anger and the blame towards her is kind of unfair to her um, because I believe that they are both if anything um, in this together and they both made this decision together. The other thing that I wanted to say about them is kind of looking at it from the 
other angle of this. As I mentioned, I already think this is horrible. I think that regardless of how hard it was to have him, I feel like when you made that decision to have him, that you should have treated him like your own child. And I'm sure that if her own biological children had a medical issue, she would never think to give them away. So I feel like there is no kind of excuse um, to excuse her from this. And just again, thinking about it from Huxley's point of view and how this is going to affect him, it's heartbreaking and I can't excuse it. I, I don't agree with it. But on the other side of it, I do want to look at it from the aspect that number one, if she was told this by medical professionals that this might be a better fit for him, then she may have just thought that she was doing what was best for him. Again, as I mentioned, I watched a few videos just to do research for this video and a lot of the things that people had mentioned is that they kind of felt like she only got him just to kind of become YouTube famous. Um, whether or not that is the case, I have no idea. The one thing that I would say is that we do not know if maybe she literally in herself between her and her husband felt like these professionals were telling her what was correct and for her thinking that it may not have been fair to her to just want to keep him just because she wanted to keep him even if it wasn't going to be a proper fit for him. And that may be why some of the professionals may have thought that somebody that's well equipped to be able to handle his specific case might have been better for him for the future. And so looking at it from that aspect, I do think that I can kind of think to myself that maybe her intentions, possibly not saying for sure, um, but I would hope that her intentions were thinking about him and thinking about what was best for him. Do I think that that's still the right decision? No, I don't. I think that just as if a professional were to come to her and say that she should give away her biological child because that's what's best for the child, I'm sure she wouldn't. And I think that she should have treated this situation with Huxley the exact same. The reason why I think that this may have been for the best is because if this is the situation and she literally thinks that she cannot handle him and she is overwhelmed with all of her other children and is not able to provide him the care that he needs, as hurtful as this situation may be and as heartbreaking as it may be for, for Huxley, this may be better for him. Because to me, anybody that could rightfully think to give up their child um, I don't know if she would have had the proper heart in the first place to be able to properly raise him. And so this hurt that's happened to him when he's five or six years old, I think is the lesser evil than for him to have stayed in a home with a frustrated uh, mother who may have taken out her frustration on him as the years go on and for him to feel unwanted and still rejected even though he's physically in the home when I tried to do um, research on their specific channel, they had actually removed all of the videos that included Huxley, rightfully so, because I do not believe that they should be financially benefiting off of this situation when they no longer have the child in their care. So I was not able to find videos with Huxley. However, in the other videos that I did watch to try and understand the situation, a lot of people showed clips where she had certain complaints about Huxley. Apparently there are claims she treated him differently than she treated her other uh, biological children. So again, I feel like if all of those claims are true and she was not treating him very fairly, and on top of it, she was not able to provide the specific care that would have been for him, I just feel like in this circumstance, regardless of how hard it may be, regardless of how um, much it may hurt him, I think that this is the lesser evil. I feel like if he is now in a home where somebody can actually love him and actually um, will go through like, you know, heaven and hell for him and um, be there for him and be able to provide for him the things that he needs so that he can flourish when he as he gets older i think that that might be better does that excuse um you know this circumstance to begin with no however again i do feel like this may be a better um place for him to be in so again i just want to share this um video because i feel like as this channel is called the weight of things and i do deal with you know psychological and emotional health as well i just feel like this is such a hard situation all the way around and um i really just want to share my views on it for uh, being somebody that has kind of felt as i said rejection before in my life and i wanted to kind of give my view of how i think that this could be affecting all of the different uh, moving parties in this circumstance also leave me a comments with your thoughts 
thoughts are you in agreement that this may turn out to be a better situation for Huxley or do you think that regardless that they should have kept him regardless of if they would have treated him wrong regardless of whether they really um, wanted him and loved him and just continued to keep him anyways just for the sake of him not feeling rejected leave me your thoughts in the comment section below and if you haven't subscribed yet please make sure that you click that subscribe button as well as the bell so that you can get notified of every time that I create a new video thank you so much for watching and have a great day